Our mission is pretty simple. It's on earth as it is in heaven. Through architecture, we're seeking to structure our world to reflect our Christian values. How can we reflect the fact that we're Christians in what we do? Architecture is all around us. We spend the vast majority of our times in buildings. But when architecture is not done well, I think that people suffer. Right now we're looking at the design uh, of the houses on, on these two lots. With each project, we start with the client's core mission. And from that, we develop intentions. How can we, at each level, reinforce what we know to be Christian principles? Love thy neighbor as thyself is an obvious one. And so how can we design spaces that allow people to be neighborly um, as opposed to being more isolated? So if there was a spot there, or there was a, something that everybody could gather at. Like outdoor grill. Mm -hmm. Outdoor yeah. grill or a playscape for the kids or something. Right. Yeah. You know? To me, I think it's super important to plan that out and understand what you're doing. If you're not thinking about what you're doing, then you, know, you start thinking about yourself and not thinking from your deepest beliefs. So. If you think about it with a lot of intentionality, then you can start to like realize what kind of world we're actually manifesting and the structure of the way that gives glory to God and helps people live better lives. We're going to stainless panel all the way up. Do your one foot seam behind the counter. Yeah. yeah. Typically, the relationship between an architect and contractor is very adversarial, where the contractor is trying to from the architect's perspective, get it done as cheaply as possible and as quickly as possible. And the architect's trying to, from the contractor's perspective, be a prima donna and doesn't know anything about how buildings actually go together. Can we n nip off the ends of those bolts so that we can get that piece thinner? Well, what we we're gonna do is basically take the nuts off, put the metal on, put the washers back on. Oh, okay. So we'll see the nuts and washers you through. See the nuts and washers. As a believer, uh, I understand that the contractor is a child of God and that I need to try to move away from that adversarial relationship. If, if they haven't done it yet, I'd love to have those bolts not visible okay. and come out over them. Hey, we might double up half inch plywood. That'd be better if it's blocked. I represent the, the owner and I need to guide the owner in an equitable way to make sure that the contractor is treated fairly. Uh, we have to be careful not to put the sticks and bricks before the people. The architecture is a profession that, that can a lot of times prey upon uh, the younger professionals. From the beginning we said anything that we're going to do for ourselves, we're going to treat our employees the same way. We insist on paying our uh, employees well, and paying them a living wage and giving them all the benefits they need to live a good life outside of the office. So if that means they get double the vacation time than a normal architect at their level, that's what we do. If it means they get full medical and dental, we do that as well. Sometimes that comes to the detriment of ourselves as principals. We may have to scrimp a little bit on our own side in order to make that happen. But it's just something that God put on our hearts. It's worked out so far, so. When a project's done, it's always very exciting to see it for the first time and to see people interacting in the project, people walking around and experiencing the spaces that were six months ago just a line drawing on a pad of paper. Man, that's awesome. I think families are loving it. Uh, obviously, great design, great building. It's going to be an incredible atmosphere at night. It's just incredible. We want families to have a chance to be together. We want kids to have a chance to have fun and get some exercise. I hope that that's something that goes to the greater common good. At the end of each project, if we can ask ourselves, is this a little bit more Christ-like, then I think that we've achieved what we're trying to.